Well, five doctors are now under arrest, part of a prescription drug ring busted up by federal agents. We have exclusive video here of agents removing evidence today from one of the doctor's offices in Staten Island. A total of 10 people are charged with distributing millions of oxycodone pills. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nelson is live in Woodside, Queens with the details. Rob. Oh, good afternoon, Liz. Officials say that today's bus put a significant dent in the local opioid crisis, including right here at this business right here behind me. They say the doctor and conspirators who worked here with him, they say they were the largest oxycodone prescriber in the entire state of New York, selling about six million pills worth millions of dollars on the street. Part of what is driving this opioid epidemic is a prescription epidemic. Indictments were unsealed today for 10 defendants, including five doctors, a pharmacist, a nurse practitioner, and three others, all accused of illegally distributing millions of medically unnecessary oxycodone pills. All of it a lucrative scheme to make money or get their hands on gifts and trips. Instead of caring for their patients, these doctors were drug dealers in white coats. Even as authorities held a morning news conference, a raid was underway at the Staten Island office of 65-year-old Dr. Nikanga Nikanga, accused of writing scripts for more than 100 pills per patient per month as recently as this summer. Authorities say some of those pills were for people already clearly addicted and for others who never even came to the office. Here at this Queen's office, four people were arrested yesterday, including Dr. Dante Kubangbang, accused of making $5 million from cash-only office visits and then laundering the money. The office gave out more than 6 million pills, by far the most in the entire state. We need to help the people we serve from falling into a black hole of addiction. Also arrested, Manhattan psychiatrist Anthony Pietro Pinto. Nadem Sayeg, a doctor with offices in the Bronx and Westchester, who's accused of getting high-end whiskey, even cruises for his efforts. Mark Klein, a White Plains pharmacist. And Staten Island doctor Carl Anderson, whose office would allegedly open in the middle of the night, bringing a noisy crowd to the neighborhood, desperate for their fix. Some of Anderson's patients even died from overdoses, but his scheme carried on. And the defendants in this case are facing a slew of charges, including distribution of a controlled substance, conspiracy to commit health care fraud, a lot of this money from Medicare and Medicaid, also conspiracy to commit money laundering, and on top of that, aggravated identity theft as well. Some of these charges carry maximum sentences of 10 to 20 years in jail. All of the defendants were expected to appear in federal court in Manhattan throughout the day today.